Michael Billy, yeah. um, bullying obviously on the national agenda now. It's on the map now. Courts dealing with it. Um, you know, if the guys that bullied you got caught and got community service or probation, would there be any sense of satisfaction or, or justice? Uh, well, it's interesting. In my case, uh, when I was 14, when I was assaulted uh, by about a dozen kids, only two of them were caught. And I actually opted for those two kids not to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Um, I think that justice Why? Why? Why, is, Michael? Uh, it, you know, it's about rehabilitation, Vinny. I mean, my room, my, my life had already been, at that point, ruined. I felt so horrible. I wanted to move on myself. And I'm smart enough to know, uh, emotionally, at least, that ruining other lives wasn't going to be the answer. I felt at that point they learned the lesson, and hopefully they would become better and more uh, giving and, and supportive people in, in the community. I didn't want to create a criminal, and I think putting them in prison would have done so. All right, let's and take a look. I that as the victim. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's listen to another victim, Ann O'Brien. This is Phoebe's mom who spoke in court today about the loss of her daughter. Empathy. Where was it? Where was that compassion from the people who were bullying her daughter, which, you know, made her, and turned her to the point where she committed suicide? Michael, when you're being bullied, Michael, get, get, us, get us there. W was suicide something that went through your mind because of people were showing no empathy, no compassion towards you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I can't explain to you what, what it's like uh, to have your dignity taken away from you uh, and still have to continue with the day-to-day -day of school and classes. Uh, suicide is a horrible thing, and, and my, my goodness, I, I remember bringing a knife to class, bringing a knife to school, uh, wanting to harm myself or, or harm someone else. I remember having those thoughts. I did that. Um, so yes, it's, it's an extremely ridiculously difficult situation, and it's horrible what happened to Phoebe. Uh, to Phoebe. Uh, but as you're, far you're, as the I see, I see you're struggling this, with this one, Michael, because you're you struggling. See, I am struggling with this one. I am. I you, am. I am. Well, as how do you, how do you teach them, though? Myself, how yeah. do you teach these bullies? I mean, how do, they get a, how do they get a lesson from it if you just give them a slap on the wrist, if you don't somehow prosecute this type of behavior? Well... You know what, I think, I think you teach with compassion. I think you teach with telling this story and, and, and educating people with a story like this. I don't think you teach with locking two teenagers up uh, for the behavior that, that they did. I, I would say to you that uh, the, 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 what they're doing to these kids fits the crime. Okay. I, I would have to say That's that. That's fair enough, and you've got really a lot of credibility on the subject, Michael. Michael Billy, thanks so much. Joe Dwinell, appreciate it. We are just five days away.